Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I thought I would drop in and open this new package of Jelly Roll Classic Ice Cream Smooth Gel Pens. So let's just get right into this package. You know, of course, that I am going to be saving this to go into my current art journal. That's pretty cool. We'll think about that. I have worked all day, so I need to just wind down. And the way I do that is to make a page or do a quick sketch of some kind. It's been a while since I have worked in this really large bird book that I'm working on. It's been on the shelf for a while. I had this large piece of wallpaper and I'm gonna do an accordion, accordion style page there right at the front. Uh, but it was a little bit crooked, which is okay um, sometimes. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. I'm just trying to, uh, yeah, it still needs more. Maybe I will have to use the scissors. I was hoping to just tear it, but that's not working out so great. I just wanted it to be a little more even so that it will pull out more evenly. And you can see this book or journal is huge. Uh, it's, it's got a massive width as far as the spine. So I just, it's, I can do as many flip out pages in here as I want to, you know, to a point. And how do I want to, I love this underneath, but it's really not practical for journaling on. And I'm trying to figure out how do I want to attach this? Probably a lot of glue. Let's put quite a bit of glue. I'm going to have to remember to pick up some more tacky glue tomorrow at work. So where is my fold? Okay, so that can be there. And then, I just want to make something pretty, you know? Now, I do have a lot of brads up here. I was thinking that I recently brought home some from, oh, the blue would be pretty. Yeah, I've got these really old looking ones. Oh my goodness, and there's one that's a little chicken. Oh, that's so cute. The chicken, I think, needs to be on a different page, though. I think the blue is just going to fade into the background because it is almost identical in color. My first instinct was to go with these older ones. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's get out four of these and let's get out the all. I am tired, tired, tired today. We uh, had to move a lot of fixtures around in the store yesterday because the floor was cleaned last night. I really felt it in my left knee this morning so when I came home today, I put some arthritis cream on my leg. I need to go get some more of that as well. When I worked in the hospital, the pharmacy had some uh, generic sort of items like that in their uh, pharmacy, and they were very reasonably priced. And I thought when I retired that I would not be able to, um, you know, just go in there and pick those up but they said, no, this is just, you know, this is for everybody and you will get these prices. We keep them at this price all the time. So I need to go get some more. It doesn't have any odor at all. It's probably just got like an aspirin type 
pain reliever in it. My knee does feel better. So I just poke holes in the corners with my awl and put those brads in. And now looking at the gel pens, I just want to start trying these on different surfaces. I guess first I'll, I'll try putting the date on here. Oh, that is really smooth. 326, 21. So that's pretty. Journaling does not have to be some threatening formal endeavor make marks on a page, just write thoughts for the day, um, sometimes sort of a stream of consciousness, or as one of my business friends called it, a brain dump, where you just write everything out that you want to do, that you want to be, and write until your hand is tired. Um, if you write something that you don't want anybody to see, cover it up. I went off of the wallpaper there onto this. The ink still looks shiny, so I think it's wet right here. Um, I don't want to mess my, my, my book up, but I do wonder how um, color fast it is. It does say on here, archival quality ink is waterproof, chemical resistant, fade resistant, bleed free, quick drying, and pH neutral. And I love that. Today, I bought myself a new package. Yeah, that, that's running a little bit there. And it could be because of the paper, but th that's the whole reason that I bought these. We're testing these. Today I bought myself a new package of Jelly Roll Classic gel pens. That's pretty. Just that. It's so pretty. Now, I'm not going to I'm not going to push it and like, you know, scrape my hand over that, but I am going to go ahead and fold this because I want to put some things on here. This is one of the torn out pages from a book called Perry, P E R R I. And it was an old book sort of just ready to fall apart and the text looks amazing. It looks like it's about a couple of birds who um, are in love and they set up a nest together and it's their their life and you know what it's like to be a bird. It's amazing. I, I kind of wish that I had read it before I started pulling the pages out. Let's put some Mod Podge on here. Right in the center. This is just a greeting card that hasn't been used. And I think I want to just cut the bird out. Do I want any of the flowers at all? I don't think I do. I'll tell you why. I love that uh, yellow one there, but well, some of the flowers are gonna show. So I think we will get a touch of the yellow. So let's put this right in the front. I've got to find this gorgeous mustard seed that Jennifer sent to me. I'm so glad that you told me about this color. water has so much pink in it. I should probably
clean the brush off a little bit, but or I change the water. Sorry, I'm my, I'm kind of letting my mind go blank after being at work all day. Okay, so that's glued down. That gives us a nice big page to put something on. So here I wrote the chickadee. Let's unravel this some. I want to put this fabric tab on here. I think it's too much to have both bird faces on the same page, but I love this fabric here. And then when we turn it over, we're going to have the bird's face here. But I want to put something really pretty on this side as well. I happen to have this gorgeous paper. that I picked up at Reconsidered Goods. So I'm gonna measure a piece to just fit pretty much exactly over this side. I'm gonna add some Mod Podge to this and just spread this on kind of thin. I don't want ridges in this paper. Oh, I love the way that edge sticks out and it just gives it more layers. And then for the white underneath here, First of all, I'm gonna to try to get the excess glue off of that. And same on this side. And then let's just come back with this beautiful yellow, this mustard seed. Love that. Jennifer, without you, I don't think I would have ever tried that color. Ever, ever, ever. And I absolutely love it. I love how much I learn from everybody on here. And that, this is not run at all, that ink. I'm still, is it dry? I think it is. We won't mess with it. Let's give it another day and see what happens. And now I will be able, once this, well, you know what? We might not wait for the glue to dry. I have this beautiful blue thread and a large needle. Let's go ahead and start here at the bottom. I did not do any fancy stitches here whatsoever. I did enough back and forth just to keep the fabric in place. And I'm gonna actually leave this little string here. I'm tying it in a bow and then I'm tying the loops into a knot so that will stay. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. I went just straight across here and I did a little X here and then one line and it just looks like a bunch of thread. 
over here. So let's look at these colors again. I'm never sure what color I want to try when I'm buying new things. 